Hi viewers, welcome to all. Here we are discussing about your project, a VLSI based hybrid ECG compression scheme for wearable sensor node. Okay, so here the wearable sensor node create and transmit a considerable quality of data while performing intelligent long term monitoring of uh, biomedical signals in wireless body area network okay this results is an increases in the amount of transmissions power that is required the study presents a lossless data compressions approach for an ecg signal monitoring systems the goal of this technique is to lower the amount of space needed for sorting data and the amount of power needed to run the systems the reductions of power consumptions in addition to the reductions of data sizes via use of the compression method it's a primary concern in this nodes in order to guarantee a lower battery life use of the proposed method of lossless compression run length coding and the volume rise encoding together with a strategy based on the predictions and carried out okay in order to minimize the latency and the lower the amount of storage space required an adaptive linear protector has been constructed and the anti dissipated difference has been encoded using the variable length coding a hybrid encoding systems that is based on coulomb rise and run length coding has been proposed as a mean of reducing the amount of data burden associated with the transmitted ecg samples and uh, improving cr that means the compression ratio in the final and uh, end of this work uh, was proposed uh, using a uh, verla hitchers and uh, it will uh, generated the using as ionlinks vertex 5 fpga and uh, the characteristics of area delay and power were compared in order to the performance of study okay so now we can verify the base paper so this base paper is full and fully designed for the ecg compression scheme for wearable sensor node so here uh, they are designing a hybrid lossless compression algorithm so okay with a two uh, encoding format so one is a run length coding another one is a coulomb rise coding okay so here the lossless compression uh, is a class of data compression that allows the original data to be perfectly reconstructed from the compressed data so with a no loss of information the lossless data compression is used in many applications for example uh, it is uh, used in the zip file format it is also often uh, used as a component within a lossy uh, data compression technology okay such as uh, mp3 encoders and lossy audio encoders okay so general purpose uh, and audio raster graphics and 3d graphics video codec and cryptography application these are the uh, methods of uh, this uh, lossless compressions okay so here uh, this run length codings uh, and uh, uh, the coulomb rise codings will comes under the general purpose method okay so here this run length coding uh, is a form of lossless data compressions in which runs of data are stored as a single data value and count okay rather than the original run okay run length coding uh, can be expressed in the multiple ways to accommodate data properties as well as additional compressions algorithms okay so and this coulomb rise coding uh, it denotes uh, using a subset of the family of the coulomb codes to produce a similar prefix codes okay rise used uh, this set of uh, codes uh, is an adaptive coding schemes okay this rise coding uh, can refer either to the adaptive scheme or uh, to using the subset of the coulomb codes okay whereas the uh, coulomb codes has uh, a tunable parameters that can be a positive integer value the rise codes or those in which the tunable parameters is a power of 2 okay this makes a rice coding convenient of the use of a computer uh, sensor multiplications and divisions by 2 can be implemented more efficiently in binary arithmetic okay so this paper they are given some architectures in the proposed algorithm this here the section 2 will showing the proposed lossless compression algorithm okay so here you can check it okay so proposed algorithm the proposed flowchart also they are given okay so this is a flowchart the figure 2 flowchart out of the proposed lossless compression schemes and data packing in the proposed compression scheme given in figure 4 okay so here the 
flow chart stands for uh, initially they are given uh, ecg samples okay it will be subtracted uh, with a dn okay xn minus xn minus 1 xn minus 1 means it's a previous input uh, so that means we need to take a uh, samples okay so then we will be find out the dn and dn will be modded okay after that it will be packed with the uh, eight samples okay we need to average it okay after averaging uh, we need to uh, put a threshold configuration threshold one two three so based upon the threshold the divisions will be occur after divisions we will get a bitstream of four encoding okay so this is a flow of the work okay so as per this flow of the work uh, here they are generated architecture so here you can check the architecture so here is a raw ecg samples okay this is an input it will be stored into the memory okay that is a ping pong buffer it's a fifo buffer uh, so here also we are created a fifo buffer as per this size okay the sizes will be given here okay 11 cross 8 okay so 11 is a uh, bit size and 8 is a depth of the uh, ecg signal so here 11 bit input only we are given okay and uh, this is a ping pong buffer one okay five four so it's required the write enable and read enable to write the data and read the data uh, and the address is not required because it's a five four okay and uh, so once the five four output uh, given to the shift registers this shift register uh, will provide the data to the subtraction okay same as uh, this flowchart okay so and uh, after subtractions uh, we will given the data to uh, the absolute okay abs okay and uh, uh, the abs output given to the accumulator okay and uh, this this terminal counter given a uh, pulse to the accumulator okay eight and ones okay it will uh, basically sample the eight values okay and uh, it will added the eight number of values and the, through the accumulators okay so here registers right so it will be uh, feedback they are given the previous value plus one that means count equal to count plus one or data reg equal to data reg plus one okay so based upon the eight values it will be sampled okay after sampled uh, the added accumulator output given to the shift registers okay so here we are configured the threshold okay so this threshold will compare the value okay and it will provide the single bit configuration of c0 and c1 so this c0 and c1 given to the conditional shifter okay so once this c0 and c1 here you can note it down okay so here the condition c0 so denotes a no left and no right operation so here they are given some conditions for uh, c0 and c1 uh, okay so here c0 c1 means uh, 0 0 means no operation and uh, 0 1 means uh, uh, right shift and 1 1 means right shift and 1 0 means left shift operations uh, handled in the condition shifter so based upon the condition shifter the coefficients and remainder value will be generated here it will be stored again into the ping pong buffer 2 uh, okay finally they come up with the packing okay so this architecture uh, we have developed it in verla of hdl and uh, as same uh, this architecture compared to the uh, 2023 paper okay this is a reference paper mm -hmm. so fpj design and verifications for lossless ecg coding compression okay so here it's a 2023 march 1 paper okay recent papers uh, we are compared it okay so here this is a comparison result from uh, device utilization summary they are used as a vertex file synthesis results okay this one okay the same fpga only we are compared okay and here also they are given some architectures with a flow chart for uh, the run length uh, coding and variable separations and rotations okay and uh, again uh, one more reference paper we are taken okay this is a adaptive run length and uh, column rise encoding so this is another one reference paper for uh, to mix the column uh, encoding and the run length coding uh, scheme okay and uh, uh, this architecture uh, so the compression ratio we need to reduce it okay so as per the compression ratio uh, so here they are used in the data packing they are used as a summon bit uh, in the final output okay uh, run bit uh, okay after packing uh, but we have reduced the compression bit uh, up to 4 bit okay so then we'll get a compression performance was good okay so now we can verify this architecture results okay so here uh, you can check the top model of the architecture very coding so you can check all the number of codings here 
okay so here we are receiving the ecg data from uh, the file trading code so we will given uh, the data sets from MITBIH datasets okay and uh, we will get the results uh, this is a simulation results okay so here you can check the data okay so this is a input ECG signal and this is a compressed ECG signal okay so here you can check the input input size is 11 bit 10 down to 0 and this is a compressed one okay 3 down to 0 this is a 4 bit okay so up to this compression uh, we will get uh, we will get a compression ratio 2.75 okay so this is a compression ratio but as per the reference paper uh, the compression ratio they will get a 2.11 only so we will increase the compression ratio scheme here okay and uh, you can check the signal uh, strength okay so here input and output you can analyze it uh, to anywhere okay so this is a ECG data and this is a compression bit size okay so wherever uh, we will check okay we will get a good result okay uh, compression bit stream this is a data buffer one and sr data ecg different okay so an ecg absolute to complement so this data buffer means it's a 54 data output and sr data means shift register output okay and ecg different means so here one subtract available right uh, this subtraction this subtraction output is that this one okay and after absolute value with the absolute means it toes complement okay so to here this signal we need to toes complement it we'll get this type of signal okay after that we are creating uh, tc okay terminal counter pulse okay uh, with the addition of eight samples okay so that is a, this one okay so ecg uh, accumulator value okay after that the shifter okay shifter one this, that is the right shifter okay so that shifter value is this one okay sr data x2 okay so here uh, this shifter value given to the uh, conditional shifter so this condition shifter generate this c0 and c1 okay so here you can uh, check the c0 c1 values so wherever it will be generated okay so here the c0 generated and uh, some of the cases uh, c1 will be uh, generated as a most okay so uh, after this condition shifter uh, we will uh, give a data to the uh, ping pong buffer 2 okay so this ping pong buffer is a qx and rx data okay so this is a reminder data and uh, uh, this is a data buffer 2 okay that means uh, the ping pong buffer input and this is a qx data okay uh, this is a data buffer too okay so once we have received it okay after packing uh, the compression bit stream is this one okay so you can check the signal as a step by step so how we are com compressed it okay and uh, and uh, this rtl schematic uh, we have generated it uh, from the signings with x5 pga so here you can check the uh, architecture so ecg data okay so it will store into the ping pong buffer so instead of this architecture it will have a FIFO buffer okay so this output given to the uh, ripple borrow subtractor as well as a uh, shift register right okay so we need to uh, shift it and after that we need to again the second input we are taken right that is a shift register uh, output given to the subtractor okay so here subtractor output given to uh, the condition shifter okay as well as okay absolute dose complement okay so this update dose complement given to the accumulator accumulator value given to the shift right and shift right value given to comparator and comparator will generate a value c0 and c1 okay and uh, as per the c0 and c1 the condition shifter shifting the value okay so this is this much architecture to be take okay uh, it's not required now uh, the condition shifter uh, will provide the output to the ping pong uh, buffer 2 okay and uh, finally come up with the data packing okay so this is a complete RTL schematic and uh, the synthesis results of this code you can check here so here you can check the results number of slice registers and number of LUTs and number of occupied slices and number of IOB okay and uh, the fan out effect okay everything you can check it 
and as well as you can check uh, the comparisons with this paper okay so here uh, you can check the slice register slice value is 284 okay uh, so here you can check the slice registers uh, slice value is 134 okay so totally we are reduced uh, it okay so this parameters output we are given in this comparisons chart okay so here you can check it so of cheese and uh, external IOs and occupied slices, slice registers and uh, slice alutes and slice alutes flip flop pass. Okay, so everything we have reduced it. This is a comparison analysis chart and uh, uh, synthesis report. You can check delay. Okay, delay equal to 3.749 nanosecond and uh, tools. You can check power. Okay, so here power will take 0 0.562 volt. Okay and uh, we'll prepare a abstract document for this project okay so it will given in here okay so this is the title best paper abstract improvement of this project proposed title proposed abstract existing system uh, disadvantages and proposed system okay related notes advantages okay literature survey finally references okay thank you if you need more video related to vlsi project please like and subscribe this channel